there, Internet. I'm Troy to the Max Extreme. And I'm Ghost Hunter Dave. Together we uh, form Imperious Rex. We do on the weekends. Mm -hmm. On today's show, we will be discussing Joelle Jones's Lady Killer. Oh. Put on your best suit. That's right. Mash up a good old fashioned. Mm. And enjoy the show. <laughs> we decide to dress up today? Well, Troy, we thought that as we dive into uh, Lady Killer, mm -hmm. you know, we, we owe it the courtesy of classing up a bit. Yeah. Because this is one classy book. Boy, is it. Oh. This book made me feel exactly how Mad Men made me feel mm. when I dove into that. Just hankering for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and a little adulterous nature. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I this book like reeks of that 50s nostalgia yeah. that Mad Men gave you. Oh. And Joel That's Jones a smoke. That's yeah. a smoke that reeks <laughs> yeah. to yeah. the walls. Joel Jones as the artist it, just as the artist side of it mm -hmm. for a second does an amazing job capturing that aesthetic of oh. the 50s uh decor. De yeah, decor, dress atmosphere everything about it yeah. like it's very well done it's so good mm -hmm. she just skyrocketed to like right. one of my top mm -hmm. favorite artists mm -hmm. working today mm -hmm. yeah like, the work in this and some of her other stuff too like she's doing uh, some batman with tom king right now mm -hmm. phenomenal yep but this usually the creator owned stuff is really where the money's at right and this is no different mm -hmm. like this looks amazing mm-hmm and this is just on the artwork side. Yeah, like she right. plays a pivotal role in the story itself <laughs> right. too. Yeah, but to it, look at you flip through this book, whew, will blows not, your socks yeah, off. Yeah, it won't be disappointed. I if I could elevator pitch this, go ahead. It's Mad Men if Betty Draper was an assassin. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. All right. I've been, our work I've, been done? I've been workshopping that <laughs> for a long time. Nice. You could be a pitch man. <laughs> I should work in ad agencies. Good. Are we just going to make Mad Men jokes? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Troy. Yeah, let's get back into what this. Is, <laughs> what is Lady Killer all about? Well, it follows a character, Josie Schuler, and she is the uh, matriarch of this household, mm -hmm. and she's the quintessential 50s wife, mm -hmm. um, takes care of the kids, has a drink ready for her husband when he gets home, uh, takes care of the house. And also takes care of a little bit of dirty work on oh, the side. Oh man, you you really have been practicing <laughs> that one. Yes. <laughs> Keep the teleprompter going, please. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. So yeah, she is a ruthless, cold-blooded assassin. Yeah. I I don't know. I'm just gonna take a break every five seconds. And be like, I really love this book. <laughs> like, it was so it's good. Right. It's allowed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is one that I have had on my shelf for a while, because mm -hmm. I flipped through it, I was like, this looks great. Yeah. And I've been kind of waiting for an excuse to read it. Mm -hmm. And finally I was like, yeah, let's just do it. It's quick. Right. Two, two trades. Right. And it blew me away. I yeah. read it in like a day. Right. And then I was I like, Troy, you need to read this. <laughs> like, Dave, quit pushing stuff on me. <laughs> like, no, I'm going to do it. Here you go. All right. And yeah, I picked it up and I blew through it and mm -hmm. I wanted more right away. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping there's a third, mm -hmm. maybe a fourth and fifth. I don't yeah, know. I'm not gonna get too. Coming, I'm not gonna get too far ahead of myself <laughs> here, but yeah, it, it definitely sets it up for another. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here's hoping that it's sooner rather than later. Yeah. So, the main character Josie works at an assassin job. Like it's like it's <laughs> like one, one of those punches a time clock <laughs> right. for the old assassin right. job. But she gets uh, contracts. Contracts handed down to her through like an agency yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And she doesn't have to clean up any do the, any of the dirty work cuz that, no, that's got a where for that. that that's where Reinhard comes in. Old Reinhard. Rein, that old grizzled Reinhard that loves his cleanup job a bit too much. Oh, he, lo he, get, he loves it. <laughs> He's over the moon for that. Um, but things it seems like the worst part of the job to me. 
Well, if you like what you do, you find something <laughs> you find something in it that just like keeps your job moving all day. That's right. Yeah. Um, but eventually her uh, her agency mm -hmm. wants her out. Yeah. She's becoming too much of a family person, and it's hindering right. her job. That's right. Pick right. or choose. Right, you know? You either get to have the family, or you get to knock some people out. Can't have it all. No, you can't. But she wants both, and she thinks she can do it. And I think she can. She does. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, she takes matters into her own hands, and in, I think this is the first trade, um, strikes back against that agency. Mm-hmm. And things go a little bit not in her favor mm -hmm. so much. No. To the point where she has to totally pick up and relocate. Oh. To what's uh, Florida? I think. Yeah, it's like yeah, Florida. Mm-hmm. But picking up and moving doesn't solve your problems, Dave. No. Trouble finds you anywhere you go. And this is expertly also told by Joelle Jones too, because not only is she the artist in this, she also. Wrote the whole thing. Uh, I believe the first trade was co-written by uh, Jamie S. Rich, oh, who's worked okay. with uh, Joelle before. Okay, but then I believe she took the reins on the second one. It's all her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't skip a beat, though. No, absolutely not. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. it's so good, and uh, just like the plotting and the the fast moving nature of this, mm -hmm. oh, it's just such a quick, easy read. It's it one of really those is. where like you don't realize that you need a book like this mm -hmm. until you're reading it. You're like. Oh, man, it was what a some, breath of fresh air. Exactly. It is such a breath of fresh air. I When I read this, <laughs> if you happen to be a crossover listener to my podcast, mm -hmm. on a recent episode when I finished it, I gush about this book and like, what else we've been into at uh -huh. the end of the show for probably 10 minutes. And Let's I'm like... just play that. We don't even have to record <laughs> this anymore. I gush about her artwork so so much because like, it's so refreshing to see like the... like. The dynamic action and perspective that's drawn throughout every sequential sequence. Oh, like, yeah. she does... Oh, my... As a sequential artist, she's n n top-notch. Yeah. Like, there's, like, Frank Quietly, who you can follow throughout his entire uh, page and see, tell exactly what's going on. Uh -huh. And Joelle Jones does that, but I would think even more kinetically. Yeah. Where, like, her action... Like, it, it is feels brutal. like... It, <laughs> yeah. Brutal. And it's, like, done in perspective where it's like coming at you and it's way back here uh -huh. it's really well done and an artist i haven't seen in a long time oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. and at the same time like all of her characters are so consistently like beautiful looking. yes yeah, yeah like josie is just picture perfect yes like, she is just a knockout right right and all the all the guys are just like the square jar jawed and yeah. like upstanding dudes yeah. and uh like her, her her husband reminds me of like dagwood yes <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah um i think when we were flipping through it you said he kind of reminded you of j scott campbell yeah but a, a little, little less a little like bit. cheesecake yep 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 yeah and i think that too like the level mm -hmm. of detail is there but mm -hmm. they're a more realistic figures yeah yeah yeah, God, I love it. Yeah. I just, I want her to draw, like, everything. <laughs> Joel, what are you doing? Come on. Pick up the phone, call us, <laughs> tell us what you're doing right now, and we'll tell you get back to doing Lady Killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonder if she'll call. <laughs> so, the world of assassination, mm -hmm. and she's steeped in it, mm -hmm. you know, and not only that, but she, like, we said she's brutal about it. <laughs> right. I think in the foreword they say, like, Josie kills like a man. <laughs> and that was, like, was kind of like the, yeah. that just really rough, violent, mm -hmm. that you, normally you, a woman would poison somebody. Right. Or give them, like, a, a quick knife to the back. Right. She gets down and dirty right. with this. Like, machete to the face yeah. kind does, of stuff. She does like knives. Yes, she, she does. She does a lot of knife work. Yes. But she'll, she'll choke someone out. Mm -hmm. She'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. Not afraid to get dirty. No way, Jose. So, with that attitude, she decides to start up her own assassin for hire sure. agency right, yeah. when she moves to Florida and mm -hmm. kind of tries to get that off the ground. Mm -hmm. But the jobs the jobs aren't great. Right. So, it's like hosting a Tupperware party and then like <laughs> killing an old woman <laughs> right. who's attending the party. Yeah. Just things like that. Right. You know. So, she's trying to get back into the, the more high profile game, mm -hmm. trying to get in with... Um, a, a high profile right. contract right. group there. Yep. While also kind of being badgered by somebody, a reoccurring character from the first one, mm -hmm. Reinhard, mm -hmm. crazy elderly <laughs> German uh, torture meister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
the torture meister. <laughs> oh, I love it. Whom she learns from her mother-in-law, mm-hmm. who has a past with him back mm-hmm. from, like, the war days. Yeah. Where this guy's bad news. Yep. And as the story unfolds, he ends up gunning for Josie and her yep. family. Yep. And she's got to yep. put it all on the line. Put an end to that. Yes. Her puffle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> put it mildly. <laughs> so... Those are kind of the first two trades, you know? It's her having to go against her own agency, and then her trying to start a life for herself. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the sins of the past, mm-hmm. they have a way of catching up. Yeah. I'm very well put, Dave. Thank you. You're welcome. Reddit and a fortune cookie. <laughs> downer, of a, downer of a lunch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then it leaves it open where mm-hmm. another familiar face from her past is awaiting her yes and we're wondering where is this gonna go mm-hmm. and we don't know we don't know but yet we want to find out we've watched no so bad joelle <laughs> so, so that is quit doing your high profile <laughs> batman gigs <laughs> <laughs> you get back to your indie stuff it's where it's at mm-hmm. oh it's so good mm-hmm. love it the color oh we should mention the colors too uh laura allred spouse of Mike Allred. Mike Allred of mm-hmm. Mad Men, Acclaim, mm-hmm. and others. Not, not Mad Men, but Mad Man. Mad Man. Did I say Mad Men? <laughs> it was ambiguous the way you said it. So, final thoughts on Lady Killer. It's a perfect story. Yeah. <laughs> I have found no flaws in this whatsoever. Every little plot thread had me hooked. Mm-hmm. I loved it. Um, I picked up the first trade and flew all the way through the second. And I it left me wanting more. That's right. Yeah. So, pour yourself. Nice old-fashioned. Curl right. up on your... 60s style sofa mm-hmm. and pop on some smooth jazz <laughs> and take you away. Yep. Follow Josie and her misadventures. That's right. Killing and maiming and <laughs> just creating all sorts of mischief. Right. I w- if there was anything that was jarring in this book, it's the violence. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't expect such gory violence yeah. out of this book and some panels I was pretty taken back by, oh, yeah. but still very much enjoyed. Still very hard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it keeps its edge. <laughs> uh, so that was Lady Killer by Joelle Jones. If you've read it, let us know down below, or if you want to read it, let us know as well. Yeah, because... I mean, we'll tell you to read it, and <laughs> yeah. that'll be end of conversation. <laughs> if you say, I want to read this in the comments, we won't respond, because you should already. <laughs> <laughs> but until next time... I've been short of the Max Extreme. And I've been Ghost Hunter Day. And this has been a very dapper episode of Imperious Rex. Mm.